Hello everybody and welcome to the Fancy Sip Review. Today on the Fancy Sip Review, I'm going to be trying another THC infused beverage by No Wave. This is under their line El Tua, which is actually the second line of THC infused beverages by No Wave. The first line that they made was called Weed Water and the Fancy Sipper has tried three of the four weed waters. I thought that the flavor was pretty good, but at 7.5 ounces and what is more or less just a tincture of THC, I don't think personally it was really worth it when compared to just buying their gummies, but they were smart and came out with this second line, El Tua, and pretty much everybody who's everybody likes sparkling water. Once White Claw came out, every single company wanted their own alcoholic seltzer water. 99 Bananas has one, Hard Rock Cafe has one. In a few years, maybe the Fancy Sipper will have one. But there is a lot of competition in the THC sparkling water community. Heirloom, who is Beacon Skiff out of Lafayette, New York, has their own seltzer, which is more or less spindrift. It's more uh, fruity tasting. Tune, which is made by Flores Farms, collaborative effort between Saranac Brewing and Head and Heel out of Cortland, New York. They have a seltzer, and now they have a seltzer with uh, weed water. With all of that said, let's see how this tastes and how this compares to the weed water, how the El Tua is, if this is better. I mean, as I said, you are getting less THC, but it's a completely different type of liquid. So here is what the can looks like. It is saying 61 calories. It, it wants you to be health conscious like White Claw is at 100. But honestly, I don't think people would drink as many THC-infused beverages as people drink White Claw, so it's kind of a wash. The Blood Orange is a very Halloween-themed flavor. What better time to review it than October? So what is in this? As it says on the front of the can, you are getting 61 calories. No fat, no saturated, no trans, no cholesterol. You're getting 55 milligrams of sodium, 14 grams of carbohydrates, 12 sugars with an included 5 grams of sugar, so 17 grams of sugar. You're getting 9 milligrams of calcium, 85 milligrams of potassium. The ingredients in this are carbonated water, white grape juice concentrate, sugar, blood orange juice concentrate, natural flavors, tartaric acid, Sauvignon Blanc flavor, vitamin C, potassium sorbate, potassium benzoate, salt, water, cannabinoid concentrate. Says to keep this away from children and pets and not to take this unless you're 21 years old. Here's all of this if you want to read it for yourself, if you think I'm lying to you, which I am not. So let's give this a pour, see how this tastes. First thing that I noticed with this beverage is it does have color to it. Pretty sure it's from the Sauvignon Blanc or however that's pronounced. Although I am the fancy sipper, I don't really drink too much wine. I know that that's the kind of wine that's sold in a box, so it's not the classiest, but this is the color that you are getting. It has a nice uh, orange, orangish, reddish color to it. Kind of like a grapefruit color. It does have a very strong blood orange smell, which does smell great. See how this sits in the mouth feel portion of the fancy sip review. This has a very tangy taste. 
What is interesting is, although I'm not a big fan of spin drift, seltzers, this has a very good uh, juicy taste to it. That This tastes more in lines of a juice than it actually does taste like a seltzer. I mean, on the can, this says that it is a spritzer and not actually a seltzer. Don't really know what a spritzer is. Maybe it's just a, you know, a thing of juice that's put in the carbonated water. But this does honestly taste the best of all of the carbonated waters that I've had. Now, with Tune, you are spending $5 for 10 milligrams of THC. And their citrus flavors blend enough with the THC that you don't really taste it. That doesn't really mean that it's the best tasting. It just has the least THC taste to it. This just tastes like pure blood orange. It actually tastes very good. Comparing this to the weed water line that they make, this does taste a lot better. It does have less THC, which they're masking less of that with the juice. I don't know if this was 10 milligrams, if this would still have the same tasty juiciness to it. But this does taste very good. Give this a second try. If you smell the beverage, you can smell a little bit of the THC. Now, I don't know for a fact if that is the THC that I'm smelling or if the grapefruit mixed with a carbonation just has that kind of a smell. I do know grapefruit kush is a strain, but this is blood orange, but it does have a bit of a unique spin on the blood orange taste. Hold this up to the camera again. So with this beverage, to be perfectly honest, in my final thoughts on this review, with No Wave, you have two different choices of what you want to get personally. Now, you can have 10 milligrams of THC in the weed water, but you are getting 7.5 ounces. Uh, the flavor is not very good. You have the choice of a berry taste, a mint taste, or a pineapple taste. But, I mean, it doesn't really taste like that. It tastes purely like THC, or you have to suspend belief in the terms of the flavor. This tastes exactly like a blood orange, and you are getting less THC. It's masking it less. But this does taste very good. This tastes very juicy see if on the can if it says what percentage of the juice it actually is. Uh, it does not say how much juice is actually in this. But the second ingredient, again, is the white grape juice concentrate. And then the fourth is the blood orange juice concentrate. So it does have a fair share of the juice to it. It doesn't have the skunky taste. It just tastes like you are drinking a nice blood orange beverage. I think that I'm not a big fan of heirloom seltzers. I do think that Tune tastes pretty decent if you're just going for the citrus route. But this tastes very sugary juicy, despite not having that much sugar in it. What will I give this drink? I'll give this an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I do think that this is a very juicy, delicious taste. I think that one of the negatives, again, is the cost to THC that you're getting. You can buy a gummy, get about $3. This is $5. You're essentially paying two extra dollars for the can. And also, you're also getting less THC in it. But in terms of just something to drink on a nice summer day, this is actually very delicious. Thank you so much for watching the Fancy Sip Review. Uh, I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy trying different types of beverages. And thank you again, and cheers.